Hi everyone, uh, I'm talking to you from the Assan Market in the very heart of Kathmandu, Nepal. I will show you every site, the one which shaped has been kept intact, the one uh, which has been rebuilt and the very few ones which uh, still need to be uh, renovated. Here we are at one of the part of this Hanuman Dhoka Darbar Square which suffered the most in 2015 earthquake. We are here at the Buddha Nila Kantha, one of the most important pilgrimage sites of the Hindu inside Kathmandu Valley. And despite the 2015 earthquake, it is intact. And now we are here at the temple of Pashupatinath, the temple of Lord Shiva. As you can see, this temple is intact and in good shape. And the rest of the other auxiliary temples are also in good shape. Today we are here at the Swayambhunath Stupa, the monument of Buddha and the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Despite of 2015 earthquake, few damages are here, but you can see the Pratapur and the Anandapur temples, they are already been rebuilt, except a monastery Karmaraja Mahabihar, it's on its way to get rebuilt. Here we are in the Dobber Square of Bhaktapur. We can see here Vishnu Temple, who is intact in full form. We have here the Kedarnath Temple, who got destroyed, but um, in the process of being rebuilt. Then here we have the Shiva Temple, fully intact as well, close to the uh, Shikara Temple, who got destroyed and in the process of being fully rebuilt. And then the last temple is the Krishna temple, which is fully intact, and the main palace, fully intact, despite some few crackers. So we can see that there are indeed two temples which got destroyed, otherwise the whole place still has its charm. So now we are in uh, one of the most important courtyard of the Bhaktapur Darbar Square. This is known as Taumadi Darbar Square. As here you can see Nyata Pola. As you can see, five story, which means Nyata Pola. You can see uh, the three story temple, which represents the Trinity, means past, present, and future. This is dedicated to Lord Siva's manifestation. These two temples are not damaged by the earthquake. We are at the Changu Narayan. You see the temple after the earthquake is still standing, some retrofitting has been done. But the surrounding of the temple, you can see, got demolished by the earthquake. Now they are going to build the surrounding which was used by the priest of the temple. So we are here within the royal palace of Patan. Some renovation works because of some cracks. But otherwise, this is more to uh, strengthen the, the old building because apart from this, the palace is in excellent shape. Patan is full of temples uh, from the 15th century, from uh, the medieval period uh, temple. Which many got cracked uh, uh, which, during the earthquake. Which many got cracked during the earthquake. But still, there are uh, the temples which are uh, withstanding. 
We are today in Budnat, in front of this large stupa, which thankfully remains uh, mostly intact after the earthquake. Same for all the houses which uh, surround uh, Budnat. All these houses are more than 100 years old, and apart from very few damages, most of them are, are fully intact.